Welcome back to the channel. Yolaru back at it again with another video here for YouTube. Let's do a little POV today. I know my whole channel thus far has been talking about track car, building a track car, having a track car, Volkswagen track car, but you know, for all you guys know, this car doesn't even drive. Um, so today I need to do a little few errands. I got to pick up an oil filter because um, I need to do the oil change before I head up to uh, Sonoma County for the mod meet in Santa Rosa. If you guys haven't followed them yet, I'll put the uh, the link or not the link, the uh, tag down there at the description. Also maybe somewhere down here in, at the bottom of the video. Um, make sure you give them a follow. Um, hopefully I see you guys there up in the Bay Area. But yeah, um, last time I uploaded, I installed the rear strut or the upper, the rear upper strut mount shock absorber kind of thing bobber. But I haven't driven the car yet, so. I want to give you guys some of that feedback about it. Maybe if I feel something, maybe I don't, but um, today will be the day that I let you guys know. So, all right. So a quick reminder, this car is a, a K04 hybrid turbo um, engine, fully stock block, stock valve train, um, all the supporting mods for the K04 hybrid turbo um, and a lot of great suspension goodies. So. If you guys haven't seen the video yet, make sure you uh, look back at some of the other videos and watch the full rundown, the full description of what this car is all about, all right? All right, let's get a cold start in this 95 degree weather. Sounds healthy.
sharp ones. I didn't think I'd feel anything. So that's a that's a humongous plus in my end, right? I think they're they're super cheap too. So. fuel cell, um, great tuning by, by them. Um, um, give them a follow if you want to see some good tuning and the different engines that they run or, you know, their different projects they have. You know, they're, uh, they're an actual company, so they actually know what the heck they're doing. They're not just some, you know, some buffoon who likes, you know, spooly noises and, you know, has aspirations to go fast. They actually know how to go fast. So give them a follow. It's CO Motorsports. Yeah, those the rear shock absorbers or the shock mounts really help. Like going out of like a like when it bounces or like you know when you hit a hit a bump and it just levels out. Super nice. Well, that's basically gonna be it for today. Um, Got my oil filter, drain plug, don't want no oil leaking fucking piece of shit on my driveway. Um, just gotta go home and make up some food. I'm hungry. But I hope this, get, this gave you guys some type of um, idea of how it's like to drive my car. Um, like I said, it's 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 an easy car to drive. That's what makes it so nice, you know? You don't have to try hard. The squeaking you guys hear between turns is uh, my, my gauge pod um, out of the column. It's, it rubs against the, it rubs against the, uh, the steering wheel here. 
so I kind of push it out the way, but uh, that's temporary for now. But yeah, anyways, um, I hope to you guys, I hope to see you guys at the uh, mod meet. Uh, hit them up. I'm again, I'm gonna drop their tag down at the bottom. Uh, mod mod underscore meet underscore Santa underscore Rosa, right there. Go ahead and follow them IG. Hopefully, you guys can get a shout out for them. They get a bunch of swag packs from Rubba Dub, from Save the Mark Four, from Thomas Sport Tuning up in the Bay Area. You know, if you guys are around the area, you guys are into Volkswagens, you guys know those are the two go companies. You know, they got a lot of cool Marsh um, and Thomas Ford Tuning. They had a lot of great uh, products that came out for the Mark IV. Uh, they do a lot of great engine swaps with VR6s. They go to uh, Sonoma Raceway for 24 Hours of Lemons. Um, but yeah, um, hope you stay in touch. Hope you guys like this video. If you guys want more POV, like me going up to the canyons, and I'll be more than happy to do that. Um, but yeah, watch out for the next video. Uh, next video is either going to be some more suspension upgrades or it's going to be my trip up to the mod meet and I'll videotape a bunch of the cars that are out there. I'll video a videotape me going up there, the meet, and then us coming down. So until next time, guys, stay safe. Put a muffler on your car. Don't get fucking state refed or get state refed. Sell me your car and then, you know, we could figure out something like that. But anyways... Oh look, I actually got a cop actually right behind. That's a sheriff. That's alright. It's stock, it's just a golf. Nothing to pull me over for. So now that I'm home, I uh, realized that I neglected um, part of the reason why I decided to film, and it was to give you a little bit more feedback about the uh, the rear strut mount, um, the heavy duty one. Um, although it didn't seem like there's any big of a difference, it for sure helped. Um, I don't know how much, how well it's going to work in the um, the canyons. Um, I definitely want to know how it feels with the rear sway bar. That's going to be like a game changer. But overall, thus far with the little, you know, 15 minute drive that I just did right now, seems totally worth it, especially because it's a really cheap piece and it's super easy to install. So, you know, if you want something that's really a good bang for your buck, tighten up the rear of the car, which is something that we really need for these cars. Um, I, I recommend doing a Euro tuning, um, heavy duty rear shock mount. I think that's the, I think that's what it's called. So, all right, guys. Um, Again, follow Mod Meet, follow me on Instagram, yo underscore LaRue. Um, hope, to see you, hope to see you guys there. Um, it's going to be a good meet. All right. Oh, doggos are allowed too. A lot of good doggos show up. So if you got a doggo who likes socializing with fellow V-Dub doggos, bring them along. All right.